Hi, I'm here today to do another installment on my little BB cream mini series that I've been working on and I've only done one so far. And I did not like at all how it turned out and I used the gold one the last time. This time I'm going to use this pearl one and it's supposed to be luminous. So instead of using it as a straight up BB cream, I am going to use it as a primer. I've already done my eye makeup, which is a complete and utter bummer because my friend Deanna from Australia, and I'll link her YouTube channel below, sent me a wonderful package of gifts and I'm going to haul them later. But in it was eye makeup and I wish I would have waited because I could have done a whole look with her stuff she sent me. So instead, I'm going to use two products that she sent me um, right now. And so I'm going to take off my glasses and I'll pin my hair back here on the side so it's not in the way when I do this. And there we go. So the first two things I already put on was the Avon Solution Vibes Under Eye Cream. I did my eye makeup and I put this brightener on which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Brightener in number 60 and that's under my eyes. So now we're just going to jump right into the BB cream as a primer. I didn't moisturize or anything. I figured we would just go with it like this. And excuse me while I get my um, mirror out. So I'm going to put this all over my face. And it seems like these t um, little mini BB creams that are in this set will get you about two applications, maybe three, but that's pushing it. So we're going to rub this in. It's going to be a little more thorough than if I were to use a straight up primer, but I'm going to do it more like a moisturizer and see what happens. Well, it's a good thing I'm doing it this way because this has like zero coverage. Like I don't even feel like it's evening out my skin tone. going to blend this in. I'm not going to put two coats on it because I am putting a foundation over it. So I'm just going to use it as a moisturizer and a luminizer under my foundation. Okay, so that is on. Next I am going to use, holy cow, I'm wrecking the place. This is what happens when you work in the bathroom and there's crap all over. I'm going to use the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, and my color is 120 Vanilla, and I'm going to put that on with my new Crown Angled Contour Brush. I've been loving this brush for foundation, so I'm just going to put this on, and hopefully the BB cream adds enough moisture to my face because this is a bit dry. I think it's going to be wonderful in the summer, but for the winter months, it's been a bit too dry to use this so I'm hoping with the BB cream it will be perfect and that it'll add a nice luminosity to my skin so take this brush and share this out well this does seem to be blending a lot better with the uh, BB cream underneath is nice. This brush seems to make fast work of putting your foundation on. I've noticed using it all week that it really blends the foundation in nicely and makes a nice flawless finish on your face. Okay. Yeah, this foundation doesn't look nearly as drying as it did when I was just using my typical um, primer and moisturizer. Okay, so my friend Deanna sent me this CoverGirl in Olay 210 Ageless, Simply Ageless, Ageless Eye Concealer. And I'm using this for the first time. And it looks like this. And I'm going to put that under my eyes. 
Oh wow, it's so creamy. It feels so good. This was actually on my wish, wish list. I can't talk this morning. Wish list of things to buy. So I'm so glad she sent this to me. I'm going to put that under my eyes. And I'm going to blend that in with the Angled Contour Mini Brush from Crown. I've been loving this brush for under eye concealer. It really goes on nicely. So, put that on underneath my eyes. Wow, this concealer is fantastic. I love it. I'm also going to put a little bit of concealer under my nose. And right here around my mouth because that's where I seem to uh, need it the most. So I'm just going to run that under here and under my lip on my chin with the same brush. <clears throat> and then also under my eyes I'm going to take my ring fingers and just warm that concealer up to really get it blended. And I just do this as the last little step. All right, that looks great. Now, to set all that, because I don't like putting my powder on and then a setting spray, I'm going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, and this is the original one. And I'm just going to shake it really well and spray a couple pumps on my face right now. Okay. Let that dry. Just fan it a little bit. And then I'm going to add my powder. And I'm going to use the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in 010 Fair. And I really like this powder a lot. It has a beautiful creamy finish and it goes well with the foundation. And I'm just going to use my $3 Elf Kabuki brush which I always use for my setting powder. I'm going to get a little bit on there and just dab this all over my face. A little bit more. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to take Uh, bronzer in the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. I feel like I have a little fuzzy on my nose. And as you can see, I've used this a lot. I'm going to take the Sally's Beauty Supply Face, Face Secrets Powder Brush, which is losing its bristles like big time. And I'm going to put this bronzer top of my head temples and hairline. Then I'm going to squeeze the brush like this and contour my nose just lightly. And then I'm going to take a little more of the bronzer and just go in right here and under my chin, both sides. And then I'm going to take Excuse me, there is a little fuzz on my camera. I hope that didn't interfere with everything I just did. The Mary Luminizer from The Bomb and this pointed powder brush from Crown, which is a, an amazing highlighter brush. Just a tiny bit of that, tap it off, and I'll apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and pull it down slightly. You don't want to look like you have obvious highlighter and down the bridge of my nose. Now I don't like to put it here because I think it accentuates little tiny fine lines you have around your mouth so I don't put my highlighter there. And then for blush I'm using the Bourjois Pig by NYX and it's a beautiful pink blush and I use this almost every day and I apply it with this brush from Ego Tools which is kind of Slanted. And just put a little bit of that on. Smile. Apply that to my cheekbones. 
And this is a nice light pink, and you can add more or less, depending on if you want it pink, really pink, or just lightly pink. And then I'm going to get my contour, or my contour, my kabuki brush out again and just blend it all together. So that is the finished makeup. Oh, one more thing, look. My friend Deanna also had sent me this in the package that she sent, and it's the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Celestial. I love this packaging, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna try this on my lips. I have not used it yet. This is the first time opening it. It has a like a fruity scent to it, which I like. And I'm just gonna put this on. Oops. This feels really nice on the lips. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this is the most amazing doe foot applicator I've tried. It has like a little divot in there, if you can see that. And it just applied it. So nice. And this is such a cute color. All right, so there is my finished face with the use of the BB cream as a primer. And it is. Hold on a second. Why is my phone doing what it's doing? <sighs> Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm having phone issues. Okay, it is 11.57, and I'll come back every few hours and see how all this is holding up. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm back and it is now 418. I've had this foundation slash BB cream on for about five hours. I wasn't able to do a two or three hour update just because I had company and I wasn't able to film. But at five hours, it still looks like I just put it on. I have no oil, no feeling like I need to touch up. So I'm really liking this combination so far. So I'll let you know in a few more hours how well it's holding up and if I need to touch up. Thanks. See you soon. Hi, I'm back with one final update of the BB Cream Foundation Mix and it has now been on for about eight hours. It is 8.30 in the evening and it's held up really well, but I would definitely think I needed a touch up. I'm headed out to the store, so I will touch it up before I go, but it has held up really well. My blush stayed on. I am getting a little bit oily in my forehead area but that is typical and, after, and on my nose but after eight hours that's not so bad so overall I'm happy with the way it turned out so thanks for watching have a good day bye